and today I thought I would do another tag video because why not? Tags are always fun sometimes, and I have a whole lot. I have a whole list of tags that I'm wanting to do, so I guess I'll just have to knuckle down and do them at one point or another. And today, not that you can see me right now, today um, I thought I would do. I have my tablet here. I thought I would do the TMI tag just so we can get to know each other a little bit. There are a whole lot of questions. I'm pretty sure about everybody has done this, but I'm just really late because I just started making videos and I thought this was one of them that I probably should have on my channel, so let's just go right ahead and start this. Question number one. What are you wearing? Um, well, you can see I'm wearing my hair, which is super long. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's super long. Uh, I'm wearing my camo scarf and a black tank top. And I'm wearing track pants on the bottom because I couldn't be bothered to put regular pants on because you're not going to see those. Um, question number two. And if I keep playing with my hair, it's because I love having my hair straight and I just can't ever stop playing with it when it's straight. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, question number two, ever been in love? Yes, yes I have. Ever had a terrible breakup? No, I don't think it was, I don't categorize them as terrible. Um, breakups suck anyway, uh, but it, no, nothing too awful, like it, nothing where it ended in like a screaming match or anything like that. Uh, how tall are you? I'm, oh, five seven. Roughly 5'7". How much do you weigh? I don't know. Um, I don't weigh myself ever. Uh, the last time I was weighed was the last time I was at the doctor and that was a long time ago. So, yeah. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't. Um, I kind of want to get a tattoo, but I don't at the same time. Do you have any piercings? Um, no, I don't have any piercings. I used to have my ears pierced, but I didn't take them out and clean, you know, how you're supposed to, like, keep your ears clean when you have them right here. I never did that. So I just eventually took them out and the holes closed up. OTP. Um, I don't know. I could just be really boring and say Ron and Hermione, couldn't I? Uh, no. I'm going to say Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. If you look them up, if you both go to Google and put both of their names in there, you will see all kinds of cute pictures of them. They are adorable together. Oh my god, that's, that's who I'm going to say. Favorite show? Oh god. Um, well, I, Red Green Show is one of my favorites. Uh, I love Bob's Burgers. I watch it all the time, which is really sad. Um, what's really sad is I can tell if I've seen it just by like the first 30 seconds or so of it starting. Not like the intro, but the actual, you know, start of the show. Um, what else do I love? I love Prison Break. That's a really good one. I don't know, I'm just going to leave it there. Favorite band? Uh, does this mean like both a group and just a person? I don't know, I'm going to say one of both or a couple of both. Um, so, let's see. 6am is a really good one. Um, I will put links to things that I mentioned down below so you can go check them out. Um, my favorite solo person, like who's, let's say, not like nickel backwards like a bunch of people, but just like a person and then their people. Um, is Chris Young. He's a country singer. I'll put him down below as well. Um, uh, that's why I'm going to leave it there. If I take my towel back up, I don't know why I even set it down. Um, something you miss. Oh, we're getting deep. Something you miss. I miss my Tamagotchi. I don't even know if I'm in frame. Uh, I miss my Tamagotchi. I really loved him. I was an expert at keeping him alive. Uh, so I think that's just what I'm going to go with because I don't want to think about all kinds of deep things that I miss. I'm going to go with him, which is really stupid, but 
your favorite song. Now my favorite song is called Little Bitty, uh, and it's by Alan Jackson, and I may pause, not pause, but I may insert some of it here. Have a little love on a little honeymoon, you got a little dish and you got a little spoon. How old are you? I am 23. No, I'm not 23. I will be 23, your zodiac sign. I am, well, on the Chinese zodiac, I'm a monkey. And then in like the stars, I'm a Pisces. Quality you look for in a partner. Oh, I just did this in my other one. Um, but I guess it won't be the same things, but you know. Um, compassion, a love of animals, a love of food, um, kindness, uh, I don't know. That's that's all I'm gonna do. I don't know. Favorite quote? Oh dear. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite quote. Maybe I should. I don't know. Um, if I can find one, because I do think I have one, but I can't think of it right now. But if I if I think of it, I will put like a little put it somewhere around my head so you can read while I'm talking about this question that I don't really like. So here you go. Uh, your favorite actor, my favorite actor is Sean Bean because I just think he's magnificent and I'm mildly obsessed with him. I have a pin, I'll link, oh this is, this is gonna be good. I'm going to link below my Pinterest um, because I have an entire board just dedicated to him and it's kind of a problem so I'll link that below. Uh, your favorite color. My favorite color is pink, but it's a specific pink. It's not hot pink, it's not pale pink, it's not purpley pink, it's not yellowy pink, it's not reddy pink, it's... <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything around... Ooh, actually, one minute. This. I don't know how well you can see this, but that is my favorite pink. It's not too hot pink, it's not like neon, it's not pale, it's just, ugh. I don't know if you could see that at all, but. Uh, where do you go when you're sad? Um, I go outside mostly um, because I just really like being outside. And where I live, um, we have a pond in our front yard. And so I will usually sit out on the back uh, patio and look at it. And I have flowers out there that I just sit and look at because they're beautiful. How long does it take you to shower? Um, well, it usually takes a long time because as you can, as you can see, I have a lot of hair. It comes down uh, to just above my belly button when it's straightened. Um, so it takes me a long time to even wash it, even if I'm not like shaving and all that stuff, that time takes me a long time. So ugh, I don't know exactly how long, but it's been quite a while. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? If I'm not uh, showering, probably five, ten minutes. Um, it doesn't usually, it doesn't usually take that long because I don't really do anything spectacular. Uh, to straighten my hair, if I'm going to straighten my hair, uh, it, my, it straight, I can't even speak, oh my god. Uh, it takes me an hour or so to straighten my hair, um, which is ridiculous, but you know. Have you ever been in a physical fight? No, I haven't, because I don't think that, I'm pretty sure I could take someone, because I'm pretty strong. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could take somebody if they were trying to uh, harm me. Um, but I don't really know if I could actually hit somebody. Um, I don't know. I'd rather not get in a physical fight, but I guess if it had to be done, then I probably could. Uh, turn on. Um, a turn on for me is, oh, not being wild. I don't know if you know what I mean, but, um, I don't go to parties, I don't go out on Saturday night, I don't go clubbing, I don't go drinking, I don't do any of that stuff. So yeah, not being that way is a pretty big turn on. And loving books, loving books is a, oh, if you love books then oh my god, 
then come come over here <laughs> for right now. Turn off arrogance, cockiness, um, thinking you are so much better than you are, like thinking you are the big kahuna. Um, that's just not. There's a difference between knowing you're good at something and knowing you um, deserve to be like the boss of whatever and being arrogant and being cocky. Um, and if you know the difference, then that's the reason you joined YouTube. Um, <clears throat> because I have been pretty much like lurking around YouTube for a long time. I've had my channel for over a year, but I haven't actually started making videos until this year because the thought of sitting down or standing uh, in front of a camera and talking to the camera, even though it was just me, was a bit terrifying. I'm painfully shy, so the idea of as time went on, gaining like this huge audience was really scary to me. But when I made the first few and put the first few up, I felt pretty good about it. So I joined it because there were a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. I love talking about my books in general. Um, and I've seen, I've been watching a bunch of booktubers recently. I thought I would join in and <laughs> see how it went. And it's going well so far. Uh, fears. Um, I don't like being alone at night. Like if, oh, I don't know. I don't like being alone at night. Like if we're out somewhere, wouldn't want to be left uh, because I just, you never know, do you? You never know. Uh, logically, I know there's like, <laughs> not really anything's going to happen to me, but um, I don't like snakes and spiders. I wouldn't say I'm too, like, terrified of them. I just don't like them at all. Uh, I'm fine if they're outside. I'm fi if, like if I see a snake or a spider outside, I will just kind of take a few steps back and make a circle around them, go around them. Um, but if they're inside, then definitely not a good thing. I will be like, I'd probably be outside. <laughs> Especially if there was a snake. That's just, ugh, ugh. Uh, last thing to make you cry. Oh dear. Um, Huh, let's put something out here. I cry really easily. I don't like go into fits of sobbing, but I just get really emotional a lot of the time. Yeah, uh, what am I on? Things to make you cry. Um, the last thing to make me properly cry was I was at my dad's to watch his dogs, and I was watching a show called The Red Tent. It was a little mini series. Um, and I don't know if it was particularly the show that was making me cry or it was just something in the show made me emotional and then I just went off on a bunch of other uh, thoughts that hadn't come really to the surface yet, so that's what I'm going to say. Last time you said you loved someone. Um, huh, I'm really bad at verbally expressing my love to people or any kind of emotion, really. Uh, so... The last time I said I loved somebody was to my dad before he went overseas and that was before Thanksgiving. Now I do tell people, like I write, I'll like text it or something, but I'm pretty bad at actually like verbally putting it out, so. Uh, meaning behind your YouTube name. <laughs> it's, it's my name. That's it. Last book you read. Um. Let's see if I can find it on my bookshelf. The last book I actually read, you mean like I finished? Um, I don't know where it is. Um, oh, I know where it is. Here it is. This one. This is the last book that I finished. Yeah, that's the last book that I actually finished. Because I start books a lot, um, and I will start a book, and I'll start another book, and then I'll read like four books at the same time, and it takes me a long time to finish any of them, so that I think is the last book that I actually finished book you are currently reading. Okay, like I said, <laughs> like I said, I usually read a couple at a time and it takes me forever to read any of them. So right now I'm currently reading two books. Um, one's a reread. That doesn't really count because it's a reread and I, you know, know what's happened and stuff. 
The first one that I'm reading right now is in Frank's diary, the diary of a young girl. I'm only 30 or so pages in. Um, it's magnificent. It's extremely well done. Uh, she is quite the eloquent speaker for being like 13. I would definitely, I would recommend checking this out. Um, I'm pretty sure sometime down the line it's gonna make me cry. But, you know, I guess that's the mark of a good book if it makes you really emotional. Um, and the second one that I'm reading is In Too Deep. That's by Cherry Adair. Uh, this book is so good. Mmm. Yeah. So those are the two books that I'm currently reading. Uh, the last show you watched? Um, probably Family Guy last night. Like I said in my uh, other video, The Dating Profile, um, I am more of a night person and there's not much on at night and I don't have a remote for my TV. So I have to go up and, you know, click buttons and it's really hard, not hard, but it takes a long time to go anywhere so I usually stick to uh, a small range of channels that I watch at night um, and so before I actually like turn it off and try to go to sleep because I need to go to sleep at a reasonable time which is usually like three o'clock uh, it's usually Family Guy or America Dad whichever one is on at that time. Last person you talked to? Um, the last person I physically talked to was my grandma last night because I live with her and I see her every day. Uh, and the last person, let's see, just the last person that I talked to uh, besides that was probably my sister. We text all the time. Relationship to last texted my, my sister. Favorite food? Uh, I love Chinese food. Um, it's just, I don't know why. Um, my favorite food I think is chicken. Like just like a singular food is chicken, but like my overall thing that I would eat all the time would be Chinese. Where is somewhere you would love to visit? Uh, uh England. Love to go to England. Anyone want to, you know, spring for a plane ticket? Let me know. Last place you were? Uh, last place I was was in my bedroom. Yeah, I'm exciting. Do you have a crush? I don't think so. Unless you can count Sean Bean as a crush because I am, like, nearly obsessed with him. Not obsessed enough to, like, stalk him. Um, but I just love him. I don't know, I don't know how much more I need to say, I just love him. Uh, last time you kissed someone, oh dear. Um, if you mean, like, kissed on the cheek like a family member would, then Thanksgiving. But if it means, like, on the lips, properly kissing, ha, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> Probably been about a year, which is fine, it's fine, no worries, don't, don't worry about me. Um, last time you were insulted, I don't really get insulted that I know about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd like to be insulted, but I don't know, maybe people do. Uh, favorite flavor of sweet? Um, let's see. I love watermelon jelly ranchers. Watermelon's a pretty good one. Um, blue raspberry, green apple, chocolate is I think my all-time favorite. Chocolate and hazelnut, like Ferrero Rocher's. Oh, the sun's going down. I don't know if the lighting has gotten darker, but if it has, it's because the clouds moved in front of the sun. Um, because I don't have any kind of special fancy lighting. Um, so I just use the window. Uh, instruments you play. I play the flute, kind of. I used to be able to really, I used to be really good at it, but I haven't done it in a long time, so it might be pretty crap. Um, I used to be able to play a little bit of the little, like, plastic flute things that you get. They're, like, you hold them down here and you, they're really noisy and they're really loud and trill. And yeah, I used to be able to play that. Um, I'm not good at anything else. I can't play anything else. I can play Guitar Hero, if that's if that counts, I can play Guitar Hero. It doesn't, but we'll just think it does. Favorite piece of jewelry? Um, I'd like to show you my favorite piece of jewelry, actually. Here it is. This is my favorite piece of jewelry. It's a necklace. As you can see. And it is a camera clock. I don't know how well you can even see this. I might be terribly out of frame. Uh, but there it is. That's my favorite piece of jewelry. Last sport you played? <laughs> I don't play sports. Uh, it's not a sport. Um, I guess it's not really technically a sport, but the last thing that I played uh, that was anywhere in the realm of physical was at Thanksgiving, which for anyone who doesn't know what Thanksgiving is, uh, in, in November. That's, what, that's the last time I did any of this stuff that I say Thanksgiving. 
um, in November. I played ping pong with my cousin. <laughs> Is that a sport? <laughs> I don't play sports. The last song you sang, oh dear. Uh, no, it was last night. I do a lot of weird things at night. Um, it's called I'm Not the, or not the Modern Man or I'm Not the Modern Man or something um, like that. It's from someone that I just discovered and he's a YouTuber uh, and I will link all his stuff below. Um, it's a beautiful song. It's, it's one of his original songs. He does covers and things. Um, but that one, I just, it's beautiful. I've been mildly obsessed with it since I discovered it. So yeah, I don't have a copy of the song, and otherwise I would, I would insert a few, a little bit of it here, like I'm gonna do with the other one. But I will link all his stuff below, so you can go check him out and support him and tell him I sent you, maybe? No, I don't think so. Um, okay, favorite chat up line. I don't have a favorite chat up line, um, because, <laughs> Like I said before, I don't go out, so I don't have any reason to know or hear chat up lines. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know any. Uh, ever used it? No, because I don't know any. Uh, last time you hung out with someone, <laughs> besides my grandma, um, because I hang out with my grandma every day because I live with her, and I went to... <sighs> this is going to tell you how wild I am. Uh, last week, or a few weeks ago, or however long it was by the time I upload this, however long ago it was, um, I went to lunch with my grandma and three or th four, four of her old lady friends. Um, she used to work with them. Yeah, I went to lunch with my grandma and three old ladies. I went to lunch with four old ladies. I'm super wild. Super wild. Um, and the last one, I think, is who do you want to answer this next? I don't know anyone that hasn't done this because I've seen so many of these and I've watched so many of these. Um, so if you just want to do it, do it.